Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you for coming back. Today we're looking at this. This awesome thing right here is a microphone for portable radio operation. It weighs nine grams. Nine grams. That's 0.3 ounces, apparently. You can build it yourself. It's super simple. You might even have the stuff to build it at home already. If you don't, the stuff required to build that will cost you a couple of dollars. All right, let's get into it. Here it is. Here is a baffing headset. Any cheap headset should do. There are a few different baffing models kicking around, but ultimately they all work in a pretty similar way. You just want one with a push to talk button, ideally. They generally come with baffing radios. You may have one already, and that's where mine came from. If you don't, then they cost a dollar or two on websites like AliExpress, and I'm sure there are boatloads on eBay. We're gonna trim this down, getting rid of the parts that we don't need, and we'll add the radio connector that we need to get it into our radio of choice. In this case, we're going to chuck on a standard 3.5 mil jack, which the KX2 and the KX3 uses, but you can replace that with whatever you need for your radio. Step one, get out the trimmers and cut off that earpiece. Step two, don't stop there. Let's get crazy and snip off that goofy plug. Now, all we have to do is figure out what's going on in that black clamshell with the button on it and solder three wires onto our plug. Now, don't freak out here. This might look complicated, but it is actually really simple and you're gonna crush this. There are wires coming down from the top, but they don't go anywhere because we cut off the earpiece so we can ignore those completely. The three wires that we care about are our ground wire, our mic wire, and our push to talk wire, and that's it. We want to know what colors they are so we can find them at the other end of the cable where we attach our plug. There are two components in here. One is a button and the other is a mic. If you can identify one, you know what the other is too. The mic is the green circle up top. It has two wires coming out. One is positive and the other is ground. That red wire is my positive wire. That's the only one we care about. You can tell because the other wire is connected to the PTT. It's the ground wire. My positive PTT wire is the one coming out of the bottom left of the switch, in this case. Again, there are only two wires in your mic here and two wires in your switch, and you know one is ground. In this case, the mic and PTT are connected via a ground wire, so you can easily see which one that is. A multimeter is super handy here to check for continuity. There will be a continuity mode on it, where it will beep at you if you've made an electrical connection, and you can use that to confirm that the wire at the top in the clamshell is actually the same wire that you're playing with at the plug end. Your wiring might be slightly different, but remember, we're only playing with three wires here and one of them is ground. If you make a mistake and it doesn't work, just switch the wires on the plug. All right, you still with me? You're doing great. This is our 3.5 mil plug. We're gonna chuck this on the other end of that wire. Our mic wire goes to the pin on the left. Our push to talk button goes to the right and the ground wire goes to that large bottom section. Here is some pretty horrible soldering, but who cares, it works great. Our red mic wire is on the left, our PTT is on the right, and our ground's on the bottom. This thing has bounced around in my pack for hundreds of kilometers, and it's been fantastic. And this is the end result. Remember to chuck that sleeve for your 3.5 mil plug onto the wire before you solder it together. If your radio uses a different plug, just grab a pin out for that plug, get yourself a plug and put it together. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.